G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome to 7 Days for something a little bit special. Uh, last night, the new trailer for the new 7 Days Blood Moons, the spin-off version of the game is coming out at some point soon. The trailer for that dropped last night, so of course, I watched it immediately, and as I was watching it, I was judging, I'll admit, I was judging the characters especially harshly. Like, do they even know how to survive a Blood Moon Horde, or the zombie apocalypse in general? They're taking 8 years to break into a basic building they're not clearing the back rooms one chick got dylan moran through the door by the zombies oh help i'm going back to the bookshop oh money help me oh i'm british oh so really all in all not a great effort by them but before i decided to really judge them harshly i thought well you know what could i do any better could i have done a better job surviving so here we are. I've gone and found a POI that looks the most like what we saw in the trailer. I've given myself the same weapons that we saw in the trailer with all the same mods. So the tacky machine gun, a baseball bat, a pistol, and a spear. All the same things that those survivors had. So can I and can this base stand up to the seven days blood moons, blood moon horde? It's going to be a doozy of a horde as well. It's going to be a day 7,000 insane nightmare horde. And I'm on max level. So the hardest this game can get. Because I was looking at it. I thought, you know what? They look like pretty grizzled survivors. Pretty long lasters. Grizzly like a big old bear. They've probably been around the bush a couple of times. So I'm max level to make the zombies as hard as possible. Uh, I've made some assumptions about what I thought they might have just because, you know, we couldn't see. So I've got some ammo, not a ridiculous amount of ammo, but some ammo, some medical supplies, and some building materials, and some repair kits, and just like kind of basics or across the board. I have spent some points through here, mostly just in the skills that associate with the weapons that we saw to, you know, try and really lock in on what we, what, what we could see and what was going on. I've got some tools in a box, but this... This is it. This is all that I have to use. The only other thing to tell you is this is the armor I've got laid out. I mostly went for things that looked like they were what were in the trailer. I've really tried to like match that up as much as I can, but nothing ridiculously over the top. Yes, I'm rolling T6 weapons, but I mean, this is super, super late game and it's gonna be bad. I'll grab my tools out of you. I'm gonna need you first of all. All right, let's get in there. Let's immediately learn the lesson from what they did wrong and make sure the building I'm holding up in is clear of zombies. How you spend all that time just, just hanging out at the front of the building, waiting for them to show up and not going and clearing the kitchen? We don't know that they died, but I'm not going to say they didn't deserve it. There are some things you don't do in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Leaving the back room full of the undead, probably step one. There are a couple of differences from this POI to what we saw in the trailer, but on the inside, it looks about as good as possible. It looks like I have like a diner cot kind of thing. There's there's a tree in the middle of the dorm. Don't think you're supposed to be there. I also I can't get through you because you have the health of the dorm. That's a little <laughs> All right, just is one of these. Excuse me, foliage. I'm ow coming through. So I can oh oh what's Oh, that's not great. <laughs> that might pose an issue when the zombies show up. All right, yeah, nah, cool. Already had a block landed on my head. No, oh God, not a good start. Oh, that's even less of a good start. Ah, uh, door, door protect, door please. I guess I'm gonna have to go with a machine gunner and just hope it's gonna work. It does have the two times ACOG on the top of it as well. That's what old mate was wielding. But unfortunately, unlike him, I don't have any peripheral vision. So this is just gonna have to happen. There's a sleeping, oh, not sleeping anymore. Sleeping pup out the back. No one else around. Quick check up on the top. So I do have parkour rolling, just like some some skills that I think might come in handy over the journey, uh, but not gonna really help me all that much. All of the offensive perks are just in, uh, in bats, in machine guns, in pistols, and in spears. Because I feel like at some point I'm gonna have to end up using basically all of them. I don't need loot. I don't need loot. I just need to... <laughs> I just need to make it clear. I can't help myself, though. It's loot. How can I say no? It's already almost midday. I didn't want to give myself too much time to prepare because it definitely seemed like more of a last-minute decision. 
There's another rad. I'm going to try to focus on that guy first. <laughs> the, the horde tonight is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to survive it completely, but I just want to see how long I can possibly make it work. If I'm going to talk shit about the survivors in the trailer, then I've got to put my money or my survival at least where my mouth is. And my mouth is basically everywhere. That's it. Look at that. Step one of surviving the horde already completed. Clear out the building you're surviving in. Pretty simple. Oh, no. All right, I guess, I guess it's pretty safe to say that I don't think those old mates did manage to survive whatever happened to them. Well, they're still in the building, but there's significantly less of them than it was this morning. Anyone else around? We'll check the medical piles for any extra goo I can get. Actually, some honey for anti-infection stuff and some vitamins that I don't have. Not too bad. Did have some plastic casts already. You guys can all just go. I mean, uh, listen, any extra, any extra medical supplies, I'm not in a position to say nah to. You're going to help as well because you can stop some bleeding. What else is around? <laughs> this is all I have. Uh, this is all I get to play with. It's, <laughs> it's not much. All right, time to get cracking on some things then. I've got the building clear. I need to start chucking in some defenses. Now, the normal thing I'll do is be to go, uh, to, we'll try and get up off the ground, but they will fight and... I mean, I shouldn't be taking too many notes from them. They didn't do a great job. But they were trying to fight their way through these front windows. And if that's where the horde does actually start from, that might not be an especially terrible idea. So I'll get some barricades chucked in across you. Ooh, you're just like an explosive waiting to happen. But... Ooh, I might actually go with the with the axe, just do a little bit more damage. If I get you, yeah, be out there, nice and close to exploding, I might be able to use you to my advantage. When she kicks off, zombies gather around that, shoot the gas tank like it's GDA, and watch the car explode. I need to use... Oh, I was going to say, I need to use everything to my advantage, right before I started breaking my building. Dang. It's actually not a bad idea to get rid of those window frames so I can put in something a little bit better. I think you're being held up by the ATM, though. I don't have any lockpicks. I don't have any time charges either, so I'll quickly just bash it out of existence in instead. Uh-oh. I'm not... I'm not ready. I'm not... Uh-oh. Oh, there's more. I can definitely hear some more. I'm not ready for a horde. You can't start screaming one in. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you moaning myrtle? I know you're out here somewhere. You come to say good day to me. <laughs> there you are. There you are. You tried to be sneaky, but I found you in the end. There we go. No hordes. Nice and clean. Clinical even. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. I was talking so much shit about those survivors making bad decisions, but... I could have done that the whole time. Well, I'm committed now. So I might as well get rid of the ATM. Nice. Gone. Couple hundred bucks out of you. Okay, so the door's actually pretty strong. I don't worry too much about that. I don't have any forged time to repair it anyway. Where is you? You come with me. I need to put in some decent barricades. And can I get, like, the actual, like, you know, the, the planks that have been nailed on? Not if I search for barricade. Do I have to go scrolling through all of these to find the right one? Like, you'd think that'd be good. I mean, it's, it's what every zombie movie, like, every zombie media has just planks nailed onto stuff, and they had a lot of trouble getting inside in the first place. Surely. Surely I can place those kind of blocks. I don't think there is. I don't think there is the, like, the regular barricade blocks. I feel like I've seen them. Definitely part of POIs, but maybe they're not something that I can actually place, which is a bit unusual. I did find these fences, the three slats across, which might be the closest that I can get. I, 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 I guess like that. Can I even can I even shoot through these though? That's probably a more pertinent question. If I'm in here, I can't I can't quite get the hero shot of like the sun coming through and me looking very stern and looking up and opening my eyes as the hordes roll in. But I think though, because if I look down the middle, yeah, I went through. Nice. If I look down the middle, it doesn't say pick up the block. Then I should be okay. Get you all nice and upgraded. I don't have a great spot to try and like defend this though. I accidentally upgraded the block inside there too. I don't have a great area to try and hunker down. This building's not great. <laughs> like being on the roof is fine, but the actual building itself leaves a lot to be desired. That door's nice and strong. Don't need to worry about you. 
You guys are all strong as well. I've got a little bit of concrete and a little bit of cobble. So I can choose somewhere around here to try and reinforce as strong as possible. I'm going to leave all this stuff out the back. So I do have to bail nice and quickly. At least I can get out here and get up onto the roof. I just, just clamber up there. Just clamber up there like a, fr a frightened mountain goat. Get up here. A, fr a frightened frowning mountain goat even. Get up here and see if I can find a better spot. There's nothing up in the rafters either. Oh, there's another corpse though. I'm surrounded by dead guys. And I'm not far away from joining them. I'm actually pretty concerned about these doors. So maybe I should... I mean, this one's not going to get used anyway. It's really just a way for the zombies to get through. But maybe I should chuck in... Although you're facing the wrong way though. If I place them that way, the zombies can climb these ladders. I don't want to do that. Maybe I just preemptively get rid of you. I've got good tools, so I should be able to do it. Get rid of you. Get rid of the frame as well and build my own barricade in them. That might be a smarter idea because I have no intention of using this for myself. It's not a doorway that I'm going to be running out of. Watch me die here. Watch me die like this guy. Run in here and get trapped in my own bloody little trap that I've built. Thinking that, ah, it'll be fine. I'll never use that door. She'll be bloody gravy. I'm going to go get, uh, get you upgraded up to concrete though. It's already three o'clock. Everything else should be good around them. I mean, if I end up in here, it's all over. If I, if I end up in the garage... I'm not going to be around to tell the tale any longer than a couple of seconds. With so little to really reinforce, I think I'm just going to just go double down. Double down, triple down, quadruple down, any sort of down onto these windows at the front and try and get them to be as strong as possible. Just going to treat these like shutters, I suppose, like an extra layer on the backside. Oh, jeez. Sorry, mate. Oh my goodness, you were gooey. I got so distracted by the gooey guy on the floor that I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, I'm going to try and reinforce all this stuff. I had a, I had a train of thought. It got derailed. It's, I should be used to this by now. I'm also just going to upgrade the slats that I chucked on the windows as well, which the survivors could have done. Instead of spending all of their, their prep time sitting around looking menacingly at each other and chewing gum and barking orders and whatever else they were doing, rather than actually preparing, I am going to learn from their mistakes. I can't learn from my own mistakes, I'll learn from theirs and upgrade my windows instead. It's, it's not much, it's not much, but it might make a difference. I'm going to seal up this window as well, get you out of the way. Marvin is going, yeah, we're wanting you. It's still just a concrete blocks doesn't matter too much could be solid could be a complete block or just a ladder scaffolders are ridiculously good so use them when i can oh i might even actually you know what i could do i it seems i know it's dumb to be making extra like access points extra choke points into i'm gonna say my base but into this base is definitely not mine i'm just making do but because it's a ground level base, which is breaking all the rules already, because it's a ground level base, I want to try and make sure if the zombies are coming from a certain direction, I have a way to actually fight them. So I'll go like you, I will grab... I might, just, I might just go scaffolders everywhere, actually. I might try and simplify this as much as I can. I would normally go a pole double in the middle, but I think for this, just scaffolders everywhere. Don't think, just scaff. There's only really one more to go, and it's this door right here which I don't have a corner piece to make this even ooh, even better. I mean, I was going to have to try and scramble up this, but maybe... Oh, I don't know. Because I, I really want to reinforce you, but then how do I... What's my escape if I seal up the door? Once you're sealed, I've only got one entry and exit, which is the front bloody door, which isn't going to be a great plan. Oh, I, I don't think I want to seal you up. I don't think I want to seal you up. But could I put some protection down? Maybe even actually on this one. If I get the pole, get the pole doubles. Because they're just as good as scaffolders. Well, not just as good, but close enough. They do let cop vomit through. And if I start putting down... Oh, I could leave that side open. That could be my escape. That could be my escape out of there. Run out the door. Run up here. All the way up to here again. Maybe. Maybe that's my best play. Nah, this isn't going to work the way I want it to. This isn't going to work the way I want it to. I'm going to get rid of all of you. Thank you, but no thank you. All of those ones soon. Maybe I just need to leave the door. Or even... Actually, I've got I've got wooden... I've only got wood. I don't have any better materials to make any hatches, so I can't make any uh, movable defenses in here so I can still escape because I've still got the door anyway. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's, gonna, that's a problem. That's a problem door, but I don't want to seal it. Maybe I should... No, oh, the lightning storm started. The horde's on its way. I don't know what to do now. I'm, I'm feeling like them. Maybe I should just stand at the window and chew gum. 
I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna go old school and dumb. This, <laughs> this isn't gonna work out well, but I wanna just keep you. Oh, you actually got some water in your back, so I'll take you first. I just want to keep you nice and protected and keep me nice and protected. So get rid of that one. I'm going to just chuck in just some extra protection on you. The door's going to be sealed. So be it. It's the weakest door. The one on the front door uh, is the stronger of the doors. So if I have to use something, I may as well just use that. But I feel like it's not going to take very long to be, to be, to be some... Some, some more access points, let's say. I feel like the zombie's going to make their own bloody doors before too long. So I might be just careening and throw myself through a hole in the wall rather than worrying too much about that. Though I do have this. I do have this little, like, basically a chimney where the tree was. Maybe I should just put in a little, a little cheeky and eeky ladder. Just up you. So if I do have to get up and out, I can just jump up onto you and climb out that way. That's a much better idea. That'll work. Take advantage. There's a hole in the roof. Pigeons can come in, but I can get out. Just going to reinforce some of these walls on the inside of the bathroom to really try and get them to focus on the openings. I know I could have, like, turned this into a castle, built, like, something off the roof or whatever, but we never actually got to see in the trailer what happened when the horde got there because, like, the random kitchens that came out of the back room jumped them in. So we never actually got to see them fighting the horde. So I want to build the base that they had, or near enough, something that might actually work instead of just feeding myself to the undead. I want to see what would happen. I want to I want to experience the horde that I didn't get to see them do. The cheeky little extra medical supplies that I had already raided, but left some aloe cream behind. Yeah, now she is for that one. So now that I've got ooh, the stronger, the stronger walls all the way around, I'm gonna double up on my scaff ladders. They match up with the plates pretty beautifully as well. That's absolutely seamless, you bloody beauty. I'll get you up, and I might actually apply the same idea to the main front room. Because where's where's the access point now? That's all nice and strong. They shouldn't really come that way. If they do, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just have to deal with it. You're relatively strong through there, but I think if I just go along these walls and quickly whack down some extra plates onto that, that might keep them at the very least going to there. Because here yeah, at the moment, like these are the, the windows are the stronger part, and the zombies are super smart. So they're gonna avoid that and go elsewhere. All right, in that case then, you, we're gonna go on face and just put in some extra protections around like this. Save the corner for the corner piece, all the way around, all the way around. I wish I had to give myself a nail gun, but I didn't see any of the survivors in the trailer with a nail gun. I, I assumed they had something. They had some tools to break in. They were like prying things off the windows to get inside. So I've made a pretty big assumption, a pretty big leap in logic to say that, oh yeah, they had like a leverage tool. A hammer's got that on the back of it. So that's close enough. <laughs> I justified it in my own way. I needed something to actually do these repairs. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why they, ref they refused to upgrade and, re uh, and repair and reinforce the POI. Because they didn't have a hammer. That's an excuse for not clearing out the kitchen, though. That's, that's uh, unforgivable. I think that's about as good as I'm really going to be able to get it. I don't love the slats on the windows, but that's what there was. It's going to have to use to try and fire through. I suppose with the two times ACOG, it's not actually too bad. It might be right at their head height, but it's, it's not not great visibility out there. I didn't do anything with the garage at all. That might be a bit of a weak spot. I did clog up the door, though. Or I'm going to just close that and hope that they don't go that way. I should have done more in here. I should have done more in here. I've got... Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to do much else. Okay, really quick. Let's go like you. I'm going to go on face. Just go the two. Just go the two all the way along. Otherwise, that's going to be the weakest point. They'll all attack that part of the building. Oh, yep. There we go. The horde's here. All right. You're now good. You're now done. If I missed anything, I don't think so. Oh, they're going straight for the door. Oh, the car's gone as well. Okay, hold on. They're going straight for the door. I don't like that. You. Uh, I'm going to go on face. What? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. And just get you concreted up as well. I don't want him coming through that doorway. I I'm sealing myself in. It's going to be a fantastic idea. Nothing could possibly go wrong. All right. Oh, that was a big bit of recall. I wasn't expecting that. Went straight to the ground. Just straight through. Straight through all of them. There's a rad cop in the back. We'll give you a little tickle while you're out there. Oh, they're already through. They're, all <laughs> they're already through. They're going to break down the top. Look how fast they're breaking stuff. 
and that was concrete. What's the point in reinforcing stuff that is licking and it falls over? There are lollipops with more structural stability than that. Just fire. Don't even worry about the scope. It's all to the ring. Oh god, they're in. They're in. Use, use your escape because if you run further back, you're just gonna die. Okay, that was the problem. That was the problem. <laughs> I did the thing didn't even last 25 minutes! 25 minutes they were in immediately! I'm starting to understand why the other guys probably did, probably got stitched up way too fast! Oh that's a problem! There's just infinite zombies in there! This POI may have been a bad choice! This may have been why they died! I don't think they had a hope to start with! Look at them though! Oh, they're, they're all the way up into the ceiling cavity, all moving around all over the bloody shop, squirreling them out like bloody cockroaches, you are. They're already up to the roof. The bloody sledgehammer hands of zombies is ridiculous. They are carving through the concrete of this building like it's microwave camembert cheese. It's got nothing. It's just goo. There are old Mikey gym socks that have more structural integrity than this. I don't even know what to do. There's coppers exploding. The coppers do more damage to the bloody zombies than I am. All right, there goes another group of them. So if it wasn't for the bloody tree hole, I'd already be dead. All right, hang on. Everyone come out the back then. Everyone come out the back. You're all, you're all congregated in the middle of the bloody building. Ah, see? <laughs> I thought I was going to get trapped in there, but you got trapped in there. Joke's on you. They've made it outside. Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Use the barrels, though. That works. And another one. And another one there too. Use the environment that you have to try and survive for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, there's not much that can be done. Try and get back to the fence. Try and get back to the fence. Elevation, anything will help us. The bathroom is nice and safe, but it's not going to save me. Can I ask how I am? Oh, oh the spider's landed on me, Noggin. Uh oh, uh oh. I did a dump. I did a dump. Hit the bloody barrel. That's why you've got the extra pistol. Beautiful. This is, this is not, <laughs> this has not gone well at all. Not by anyone's yardstick. I don't think I have any tricks left up my sleeve. I think, I think that was it. I think using those gas barrels was the last hurrah of anything that I had even resembling a plan. Gonna get some headshots at least, get it all through you. My bloody tacky boy's almost bloody broken. That happened in the blink of an eye. There's still cop or whatever the more kebabs out of here than sausage rolls. There's no rat coffins in the bloody pie warm, that's for sure. They're all been sold. Anyone else? Just you? I did see one a bit closer. Oh, to the spray. The spray and continue to pray. I feel like I'm in the mummy and I'm confronted with, with the un big undead guy. I'm pulling out all my necklaces. That's how many prayers I'm making. I'm bloody Benny. Look at the damage. Look at the damage that's gone down. The gas barrels were a nice idea. Unfortunately, though, at this, at this point of the game, the zombies are just way too tanky to give any fifth of a shit about explosions nearby them. They're gobbling bullets for breakfast like Shooter McGavin and pieces of shit. They're not going to care about a bloody explosion. Oh, man. <laughs> I've, I've almost made it to midnight though. I've almost made it to midnight. Just keep going. Just keep going for as long as you can. Excuse me. Oh, there's still some more inside. I just want to get the choke point in. This might have been a bad idea of actually get up. Oh, no, I missed the jump. Uh oh, um. <laughs> yeah, sure. This will work. I'm sure you'll be fine in here, Josh. What a genius move that was. I can't even get back to my bloody ladder. No. I'm not sure where they're all trying to get through, but I can hear so much beating and so much carrying on that I would like to find out at some point soon. I feel like I will find out at some point soon, but not in a pleasant way. Can I make it back to the ladder from here, you reckon? How's, how's it looking? It's not, it's not especially clear. I reckon I go for it. Oh, oh my goodness. Lucky I had that just a breath. Just a breath of hesitation. Because it's, if I had a go when I first said I would have charged face first into the rads, that would have been an awful, awful bloody idea. Running out of machine gun ammo, though. Got to need a refill, but I've got nothing to refill it with. <laughs> All I hear is death around me. I can see like a little... Just a little bit of them through the service counter. Oh, I'm serving up some hot, spicy leads. I hope you're all bloody enjoying it. If, if you... Oh! 
Oh no! You bloody cheeky bastards! You broke the bloody ground! Ah, oh, um, um. Oh, I can't make the jump. Oh, I can't make the jump. Uh oh, no, 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 no! Just keep jumping. Just keep fucking hopping like a very excited bunny rabbit. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Get up, back into the roof, please. Okay, just before you bleed out, don't panic. Don't panic. Get it on. Oh my god, we have one health. One HP! We made it work! We got through! Uh, is there anything else I can do? I've got fatigue! Where did my vitamins go? Oh wait, no, no, hang on, I've got tools! I've got tools! I think my box is on the other side! Oh, it's gonna take so long to tunnel through to with the... <laughs> one! One health point remaining! That's ridiculous! I was bleeding out as I was trying to shove the bloody bandage back onto my organs were falling out of me! You. There you go. That's going to take care of my fatigue. I was going to chuck on my honey to fix up my infection. I'm not sure how I got away with that one. I probably shouldn't have. Oh my god. Speaking of shouldn't have though. Demo. Demo. Just do not touch his nipples. Dude, he's not into nipple play. He gets way too excited if you do that. Where did he go? Where did he go? They are off limits. I've got the demo on my sights. I got him gooing. Just, he keeps, oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, actually, did you have anything good? Could I, could I reach that? I can't, I can't quite reach. I can't quite reach. This is a bloody silly idea, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna go down to Goom. Beautiful. And grab, no, he, you suck of shit. He knew what I was trying to get to. He looked at me coming down to try and grab his mate's loot bag and kicked it into the doorway. The zombie AI is getting too good. They're getting too smart for their own bloody good. No, 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 okay, you run back over that way, where I, oh, you cheeky pelican, away you bloody go then, put a bunch of bullets in all of your knees, That's, I don't even know what they're trying to do anymore, I don't know just like where they're trying to attack to get to me, they're everywhere, it's an infestation, I'm running so low on ammo, I need to just be so much better about only hitting shots that I think I can actually finish off with, so like when they're right below me, for example, like that, or in a nice little group, just like you, like going for actual headshots unless they're down and still just not not really a great option for me i'm, I'm not too far away from that bag could i get it <laughs> could i get some more ammo from that loot bag it's all the way in the corner that's a deliberate ploy he <laughs> the zombies watched my own video about moving loot bags to get better loot and use that against me damn it oh there's a lot of damage in that corner now that's an awful lot of damage they're all moving through, but they haven't made it. <laughs> I'm just cowering in the ceiling. Oh, hang on. I'm cowering in the ceiling. Do I have my tools? I have my tools. Ha ha ha. Up, up and away. Like a, like a scared little mouse that we all know that I am. Right. Now what though? They're faster than me, so I can't run away. I don't have the ammo I need to try and fight them properly. Maybe I can just like kind of lure them out and then get back in and get to that red loot bag. Red loot bag might come with some ammo. Where's that demo? Where's that demo? I would like... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Holy shit, I'm so slow. Oh, I'm so slow. Don't turn around. If you turn, you're slower again. Just try and get in there. Try... Oh, loot bag. Try and get... No, no bloody ammo out of you, though. Was there any others? Oh, excuse me, everyone. They've come out like a freaking armada. Get in. No! No, you blocked the bloody door, you sausage! Get out of the bloody way! Uh-oh. Um. Oh, go oh, Jesus. Go back around the other side again. Go back around the other side. I'm very hurt. I'm very hurt. I put my first abandons away. I put them away. Can I make that jump? Huh? No, I can't make the jump! Um. Uh, <laughs> I think we might be in some trouble. I hit him. I hit the demo's nip. He didn't get close enough to them. In fact, he kind of did me a favor. You go into there while they're all staggering and all over the shop. Chuck you in immediately. Lost the red loot bag, but gained maybe a couple more seconds of life. What's the time? It's 2.20. It's 2.20. Let's get in. Get in and get the red loot bag. It might come with ammo. All the way in. All the way in. There was a blue one. That oh, Arlene. Blue one then. And up. Okay, what did you give me? Did you give me anything I could actually use? You gave me no 762s. You prick. Yeah. You didn't give me anything. Did you give me bloody 44s? Did I see? You did. Come on. I'm just like scouring for loot bags now. More 9mm ammo. Definitely not what I was after. There was a blue bag. They're all just distracted doing their own things. They're all... They've decided they wanted to break the building rather than break my face. And I feel like I'm on board with that line of thinking. There's a bunch of rads here though. Just keep them stacking if you can. I am maxed out on pistols, but it's still not doing enough. Cop up. 
Can you attack him with, uh, before you vaulted? I'm a braised again. I'm a braised like a chook for dinner. Not much else. Not much else out of you. Sure, I can read the book, I suppose. Still haven't got any 762, though. Yeah, no, I know. I know. You're all. No, oh, I fell. Shit. Ah, oh, got the bag. Got the bag of the way through. Oh, no, you blocked that door. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, well, I'm on the top of the freaking railings. Go through the gap. Go through the gap the zombies made. Up, up into the roof. 40 health. Oh, I'm still getting hit. <laughs> Chuck on another first aid bag. I'm back in the rat hole. I'm back in the rat hole in the middle of nowhere. Do I just sit here and cry until morning? Could I even make it to morning? It's too much. Yeah, my time of safety up here is definitely coming to an end. They're slowly, slowly getting up to the top before they were carving through here so bloody quickly. Now they're having a little bit more trouble. I'm not even thinking. I'm not even thinking. I'm not even aiming. I'm just aiming at this shivering mass of death trying to get to me and just putting, uh oh, as many holes in you as I possibly can. Got you, Gooey. Got you sent back down the hole from where she came again. Put that thing back where it came from. Also help me like a fucking Mike Wazowski. Keep going. You guys are green. I'm thinking of green. I don't have any ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> it's getting close. 45 more minutes. Please. Please last. My pistol's almost broken. She's almost cactus. I might actually take a little bit of a moment. Quicker time repair you. I've got books and things to read as well. Ah, not that ah, no, 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 no. Not that really going to help me. I was too busy perusing knowledge. I definitely read the magazines for the articles. Don't ask me about the bloody centerfolds. Holy shit. Half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> Just... <laughs> this isn't the appropriate weaponry for this. They're coming up the other side now. In fact, I can see the nips. Oh, that's one of the coming on the side. There's another demo. Oh, mate, stuck his face through the floor and vomited directly into my spine. That was not a nice feeling. That was not a nice feeling. I'm never going to fucking kill him with a pistol. I'm never going to kill him with a pistol. So focus on what you can do and try and get some accidental maybe decaps on them. Um, 10 more minutes. Oh, oh time to go. Time to go. Copper blue. No, I missed the ladder. I missed the ladder. Uh oh, uh oh, 10 minutes. Oh, damn it. 10 more minutes. No, oh, not like this. Don't die like this. Please don't die like this. We're so close. We're so close to making it through. Get up to you. Ah, jump for glory. Oh, thank God. Just hang out here for a little bit. Chuck on the first aid band or anything that you can. Oh, this moon is setting. The sun is rising. We can make it. We can make it. Just don't do anything dumb. There it is. The moon's no longer red. The sun is bright and beautiful. There's still a million zombies down here, but I am alive through the morning time. Give us your nips. Let me slap them titties so I can see what you do, what them titties do. Boom, thank you. Using demos as weapons right up the guts. I'm going to try and get back around. There's another demo over there. Try and get back over to where I can at least have a little bit of an advantage. I'm running off into the desert for no reason. Oh, come on, faster. Faster, please. Faster, please. They're so quick. They're so bloody quick. Yeah, get back. Oh, just jump, Lozum. Use that sweet parkour ability to try and get back all the way back. Arlene's beating on fences. Up. Oh, missed it. There we go. And up. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to like, clear these guys, though? What am I going to do? Poke them to death? I'm more or less just trying to take the only shots like when they're available to me. I'm not trying to like find the crew, like the group of them again, just if they're there, if I can see them. I'll take a pot shot and see what we can end up with. Oh, that's a demo. Oh, demo again. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. There, gotcha. Run back to the rest of the zombies, please. Do us a favor. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like you did a fair amount of damage with that as well. My little, like, jumpy post is still there, which is good. You're gone. There's a blue bag that might have some loot, but <laughs> I'm not going to risk going down to get it. We should be in the last couple of now. We're slowly wearing them down. There's so many less zombie noises down here now that I think I might have a bit of an opportunity to try and find it's going to cluster up the last of them. Because the pistol's not bad as long as I can get, like, that headshot going, which I can usually do until I start shanking every shot in the world. Ah, oh, just like that. That was on that white two. You're gone. I just need you to explode as well, which I think you just did. Are we good? It sounds like there's more. But they're probably actually... Oh. I was going to say they're probably crawlers, but I think they've been blown through the floor. The demo explosion has sent him into another dimension. 
Doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. The important thing is, is that I am basking in the sunlight of another day. I have survived. I survived the Blood Moons, the Seven Days Blood Moons trailer base. It was hectic. It was ridiculous. Watching my health count down to 1 HP as I'm slowly... God, it took that animation. That animation took so long. I'm pleading with it to go a bit faster. Slowly wrapping up my arm. Got to 1 HP and then started ticking back up again. We were that close. We were a bee's underwhelming dick away from cooking that. Oh, man. Turns out the passing gas, not a great horde base for a day 7,000 horde. But, you know, the only reason I survived is because I got elevation. Oh, man. That was, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. But I'm going to have to leave this video here. I'm kind of excited for Blood Moons. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not pay, getting paid to shill for it. I think it's going to be an interesting take on Seven Days. And clearly, I'm very fond of Seven Days. So any extra Seven Days is good by me. But we'll have to see how it's, how it's going to go. But there you go. That's what would have happened in the trailer that we didn't get to see. Oh, man. So... I guess we'll come back and test some more things in another one. If you wanted to see this done differently, or if you have any ideas of how we could have done this differently, let me know, I guess. Uh, that's what the comment section is for, so we can revisit it if we need to. But I need to lie down. I need to lie down. But I'll have to go lie down and then come back in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, most of all. Thank you to the patrons of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.